This example looks a little strange. We have e to the 2x minus 4 e to the x plus 3 equals 0. And unless you kind of recognize the technique for solving these kinds of equations, they can be really baffling. This equation is what we call quadratic in form. What we mean by that is that it resembles a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation of, is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, so don't get that mixed up with the quadratic formula, which is a different beast that's used to solve quadratic equations. But any anything of this form, we say it's quadratic in form, and this is. Note that we can rewrite this. Let's rewrite it a little bit just to make it a little more clear. What if we rewrote this as e to the x squared minus four e to the x, right, plus three equals zero. Okay, it's the same equation, but now you can see a little bit more clearly how this is quadratic in form. Now, here it's common to do a, a substitution for e to the x, so I'll do that. I'm going to say, let u be e to the x. Okay, but note that it's perfectly fine to solve this without the substitution. Some people don't even make the substitution. I like the substitution, so I'm going to do it. So I'm letting u be e to the x. This gives u squared minus 4u plus 3 equals 0. Okay, so we solved this. Well, we can factor this, thank goodness. Right, u um, and u, looks like we do minus 3 minus 1 will do the trick, equals 0. Okay, so that gives u equals 3 and u equals 1. But when you do this substitution method, you have to be sure to go back and back substitute on the back end of it here. So now we're paying it back, so we get e to the x equals 3 and e to the x equals 1. And finally, we can solve both of those by taking the natural log of both sides. That'll get that x down. Anytime you have an x up in the exponent, you use natural log to get it down. That brings it down to the front, so to speak. Um, so that just gives us x equals natural log of 3. And over here we have x equals natural log of 1. Oh, but note that natural log of 1 is 0. Okay, so here's our two solutions. Natural log of 3 and 0. 